There are hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the name. I'm sitting here with my brother, AMP. AMP. He has his own handyman repair business. He's an entrepreneur out of Tallahassee, Florida. So I wanted to bring him here just to ask him a couple questions about, you know, the business itself, right? Mm -hmm. So how did somebody get started if they wanted to, if somebody out there wanted to start their own handyman repair business, like what would be some steps that you think they should do? Uh, I know for me, I actually started working with my friend's father who has his own business. So I was able to be in the, um, in the construction business like that for like about 10 years, I would say. Okay. So you so want to actually get the basics of the trades. I learned from that, from pricing to things like that before I actually decided to go and open up my own business. So basically, you had like a mentor. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that would be the way that you would suggest it? Because that's pretty much the way that you know, right? Yeah, yeah. So is there, are like, there any other ways to do it? Like, can you go to school for it? or? I mean, you can, but I always feel like experience is the best teacher. You know, too. basically getting in the field, putting your hands on it. That way you know what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, you can always know the job, but if you actually know how to do it physically and stuff like that, it works out better for you. So, Okay, so um, what kind of services do you provide? Um, from Well, I recently just got my AC license, so I can actually put that on there now. But um, nice. everything from home repairs to appliances to uh, flooring to drywalling to painting, I mean, you name it, man. Okay, so when you first got started, what were like the first like businesses, like the first part of the business that you did? Was it like painting? Was uh, it like it was, first, it was painting. Yeah. painting. Okay. First, I learned how to paint. Then from painting, I went on from uh, drywalling. Then I learned how to do mostly appliances, things like that, from like mountain TVs. Oh, nice. To, yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, because he, he was over here looking at my <laughs> TV telling me I need a 7-inch. I got a 55, right? Yeah. So he's like, yo, you need a 7-inch in this room. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's cool, but I don't know how to get this TV off because <laughs> it's on the rack. He was like, man, it's easy. You just, like, you know, I'm like it ain't that easy, bro. Like, that's, the, uh, <laughs> that's the curse. No matter <laughs> what, hey, when you do maintenance or you do anything like that, no matter where you go, you yeah. always expect people's stuff. So Yeah, you know. he just be walking around looking at stuff like, mm-hmm, <laughs> this is how y'all <laughs> All right, so um, how do you assess, like, the cost of things? Uh, most of the time I have to, I actually like to see it because you don't know what you're dealing with until you mm -hmm. see the problem. Sometimes if it's basic, you mm -hmm. know, things like that, you like to give people a price range, tell them what it can fall under, or you can tell them, you know, to be no more than this right here. But for the most part, I like to show up, you know, and, okay. you know, put my eyes on the job. Okay, so have you ever had a situation where you went and – you assess the job, gave them a price, and then you started the job. Right. And you ran into other issues. Okay. Yeah. We call mm -hmm. those uh, those like hidden problems. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we let them know, you know, this is the price. If, you know what I'm saying, if I uncover anything else mm -hmm. that can be a little more damaging, then I have to charge, you know, this much and that much. So gotcha. I have to go from there. Yeah. Um, so I had a situation where I had an AC line that was coming down from upstairs right. and it was causing mold in my closet right well, my guest closet so i had to the, the people come out to like cut it out and stuff like that but mm -hmm. it ended up being like a whole ac repair like the ac yeah. guy had to come out and do his thing or whatever but it was just like we thought it was going to be something simple nah, and yeah. then when they cut it out when it you did like, i mean oh. when dealing with mold you I, you actually have to yeah. cut the problem because you don't know it can mold like i say mold spreads mm -hmm. and you have to treat the problem make sure right. everything is aired out and stuff so yeah right they, they did that the correct way yeah okay so um it's like the ac repair kind of the area that you wanted to lean towards mostly I'm gonna be honest. I I actually don't like dealing with ACs, oh. but it, I mean it is a very lucrative business. But it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's lucrative. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's actually you know I wouldn't say it's hard. I would just say it takes a lot of experience. You know, you have people yeah. who've been dealing with ACs for multiple years and still you know they're learning new things like every day. So gotcha. yeah. So, but like I said, I got my license because I feel like it's something that I actually want to know about. And if mm -hmm. I don't put my hands on it. I always just want to be yeah. a contractor where I could, you know, yeah, yeah. get those things. You know what I like about the AC business is how, like, they have, like, a, I want to say, like, a monopoly on it. But, like, they have it where it's, like, locked down where you can't even buy parts for your AC unit. No. 
without like the without, license. Without so, having that license. <laughs> yeah. and, and that's so you can't point. even like work on it yourself or whatever. Exactly. Like you got to still get one of them. I mean, you could work on it, but you still got to hire one of them right. to buy the parts for you. And exactly. it's like, dang, this yeah. is crazy. Like you're going to be hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't want to be left out on that part. So yeah. I made sure. I got my commercial, so even if I don't work yeah. on commercial buildings, I'm able to. Oh, that's nice. Like that. So, yeah, I got a universal license, actually. Wow. Yeah. So, is that like a something that they do in Florida, or is that just in general? Uh, different, it varies in different states. Okay. I think up here, the, um, it's a different thing that you have to go through to get it, but it's it's all the same, basically, with dealing with stuff. But you just, your license just have to be registered in different states. Like, I can't I can't come to Georgia and touch Freon because I'm licensed in Florida. Gotcha. Well, there's gotcha. other certain stipulations that I can do. I might, you know, I probably could just look at your AC, check uh, what the gauges, check stuff like that. But I can't, you know, okay. buy any Freon stuff like that. So Okay. So, first year starting out, what could somebody expect to make who has their own handyman repair or per day if they maybe they have a regular job? Mm-hmm. What could they, I guess, expect to make if they had like a couple hours a day where they could? Uh I can only say, based on my experience, I, when I first started, I started moving from the side from doing, like, TVs and stuff like that. So, I would say my daily rate, I was I was doing, like, three, four TVs a day. And you can charge at least, you know, uh, 250 to 300 for those. Wow. So, yeah. So, you're talking over, five, you know, 500 a day. That's <laughs> if I work around a lot of college students. So, yeah, 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 right, right, so, right. Tallahassee. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you don't know, I grew up in Tallahassee. Uh, we grew up in Tallahassee. And uh, so, definitely a lot of college students in yeah. and out, a lot of apartments. You know, exactly. a lot of people so, moving all the time. Every semester is well, new influx of people. Mm-hmm. Okay, so and it depends on you know how you how your hustle is. You know, yeah, yeah, for sure. I, you know, I never sat back and waited. Yeah. You know, for for jobs, I always gave my cars out, let people know, yeah. like I do this. If you're yeah. looking for this, yeah. if I'm at Home Depot, yeah. I'm passing cars. I see people buying stuff. I'm passing stuff out to let yeah. people know this is what I do. So gotcha. you know, you never wait. So, so that's another thing I was going to ask. How did you find, like, clients or whatever? Like, did you do the online route or were you in a grassroots, in-person, word of mouth? Or uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm an old soul, so you know how we do it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of mine was, you know, some of it was word of mouth. A lot of it was just getting out, you know, from seeing people, you know, face-to-face, letting them know things like that. So, you know. Okay. All right. Yeah. So... All right, so first year, well, first time starting out, you might be able to make five hundred dollars a day. You, can, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, on the on, yeah. that's that's a lot of money a day. You yeah, know, that's twenty five hundred a week and five. That's crazy. So, all right, well, um, you know, what's the name of your business? So, if anybody is in Tallahassee, Florida, right. you need something done. Holler at my brother, yes, man. Yes, the business is RS Painting and Handyman Services. If you ever in the area, you hit me up. Phone number 850-459-3629. I do free estimates. Let me know. I got you. All right. He <laughs> don't know that people will call him. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> that's what's up. All right. And that's that's in Florida. In yeah, Tallahassee, that's in Tallahassee, Florida. Tallahassee, yeah. Florida. I mean, what, do you move... Like to South Florida, would you do jobs in like South Florida? Of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Money's in traveling. All right. That's what's up. All right. So right now you're watching Casino is the name. Hopefully you find some value in this video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the name. And if you wanted to know how I started my trucking business, I have an ebook called Big Shot Hot Shot Volume 1 on your trucking authority. It's a great book. Five star reviews. The link will be in the description below. Go get that. Yeah. Me and her together, we just count it up Money on my mind, I can't get enough Don't play with my money, you don't want no beef Cause I come from the bottom, I come from the street When she first saw me, she said, who is that? When a man saw me, he called me a threat I'm the one that really knew what a rap They ain't never did it, they ain't really trapped
You say you want to be successful. But what's stopping you? Can't nothing stop you from being successful except for you. You standing in your own way. I came from the bottom. I ain't know nothing but the grind. You can't tell me nothing about that. I called the Bustin' Basin Street Projects in Tallahassee, Florida. You hear me? I used to think a million dollars would last me my whole life. I'd have made that and spent that. A million dollars ain't enough. Still hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.